UTEP's 2022 season on the gridiron ended in disappointment. The Miners blew a 24-0 lead and lost to UTSA in the final game of the season. The Miners finished with a 5-7 record, just one win shy of a bowl game appearance. This year, the Miners are hoping to use that failure as fuel to prepare for the upcoming season. Earlier today, UTEP kicked off its fall camp at Glory Field. UTEP was happy to have one of its best wide receivers back on the field in Miners gear. Remember, the big story this offseason was Tyreek Smith's return to El Paso after transferring to Texas A&M back in January. So Smith is back. Quarterback Gavin Hardison is here. Running back Deion Hankins also returns on defense. Defensive end Praise Amehule. Linebacker Tyrese Knight. Safety Kobe Hilton uh, headlined the defensive returnees. There's a total of 15 starters from last year's squad that returned for 2023. So there is a lot of new. Uh, there's also a lot of new faces that will look to make an impact for the Miners this year. All in all, UTEP is ready to get this fall camp going. The message to the team is let's, let's continue to really have great leadership and work extremely hard uh, to make sure we have a really special season. Like I've said, I feel like this is our most talented team. I mean, now it's just putting all the pieces of the puzzle together. Every practice is important. You know, everybody on this team knows that. You know, how we had uh, five, only five wins last year. We need, we need more than that. You know, we're trying to win the whole thing this year. So everybody knows how important these next couple of practices are. So after today, there's 24 practices left for UTEP before they open up the regular season with a Conference USA match against Jacksonville State on August 26th.